In this video, we will talk about science is the way of thinking, observing and doing things to understand the world we live in and to uncover the secrets of the universe. This is our topic of concern today. And we are in a very simpler sense, I can say here is talking about the science. What science is for us? Okay. So here the whole topic, it's not actually the topic. It is another way of looking at the definition of science. And in a very simpler sense, what I can say is science is a subject. Obviously, uh, when you are in a school, when you are studying something, you are studying uh, all the topics or all of the things as a subject. But in science, what we try to do is we are focusing on the introducing fundamental concepts. Fundamental concepts means you are talking about matter, you are talking about cells, you are talking about substances you're talking about physical measurement so these are all fundamental concepts that you need to understand it also encourages the exploration so once you know about something you try to know about it more you try to understand where you can apply the knowledge that you are gaining along with that it will ignite your curiosity okay you know you learn something how you will apply as i said where you will apply is there something which you can like uh whatever you are learning will make it better so it will ignite the curiosity it will ignite okay this is how it makes it better it builds the foundation for a deeper understanding of the natural world as well. obviously the earth is a place where we live in and everything that we talk about is something which is happening within the earth and then we try to go into the space as well and then try to understand that part as well but it will give you the understanding of whatever happening on this earth particularly in the natural world the world where we live in so this is how we understand the definition of science in another way in terms of scientific way i can say it is the way of thinking like when you talk about fundamental concepts when it making you encouraging the exploration and what ignites your curiosity you start thinking once you start thinking you start observing around your uh, like your surroundings i can say and then you start doing things to understand and to also uncover the secrets of the universe and on this earth as well so i can break the whole process into five points okay the first point is a thinking and i will give you a very simple example and uh, let's consider it so whatever is present around you okay just a very simple thing is find all of the things through which you can understand where the energy is applicable okay and that too you can differentiate the natural energy and the artificial energy natural means which is naturally forming like light energy heat energy and wind energy sound energy and the artificial is electricity the let's say wind energy is coming from the fan is an artificial energy so like that look at the energy around you and start thinking about it start looking at that energy and trying to figure it out okay trying to generate the curiosity from where it is coming so let's say if i talk about electricity so from where it is coming so it give you the purpose of thinking first of all so again it begins with your curiosity like this i gave you a question so it generates the curiosity around you now again look around yourself try to figure out the things that are present around you and find out how you get them what is the reason that you get them what are the things that are involved in it so it will generate the critical thinking the thinking that makes you learn okay it will question the existing ideas it will form the hypothesis and making predictions means once you try to learn everything that is happening around you simply the laptop that you are using or the mobile phone that you are using to watch this video as well can uh, like also be the example here understand what is the things that make you watch or allow you to watch all of this thing so why does this happen and is there any way to explain this that would be the two questions that comes to your mind when you talk about thinking once you're done thinking you talk about observing means now as i said you have this idea now you will look at the things that is as i said surrounding you so you try to find the uh, reasons you try to find okay this is the one point then you go to the other point then you try to figure it out what is happening there then you find that there is something else that is also happening here so like for electricity it will like let's say you're looking at your bulb so you realize that the electricity coming your house is coming from some power plant okay so that is your starting point of discovery just a single observation can 
lead you to somewhere so now you ended up looking okay so as i said it can be simple as watching how plants grow or as complex as measuring the movement of stars and again as simple as as i simply gave you the idea of looking at the electrical energy or electricity and find out how it is forming and also you can look at the plants and understand how it is growing what are the things that are involved in it the movement of stars you can also look at okay so for that you might need different tools as well like microscopes you need telescopes you need sensors you need it depends what is your observation what you want to do with the observation okay so this is the second point the third is you have to do certain things certain things means you have to involve the experimentation this is something the scientist whenever they have something they try to prove it but how they will prove it they will do the experiments so whenever you also try to prove something you will start doing experimenting with that thing there are testing ideas that are in controlled ways to see if they hold true means you will try to in your uh, control like how you are able to do those experiments you will try to prove those things whatever you are looking at so you will design experiment you will collect the data you will analyze your results so might be possible you will fail or the results that you are getting are unexpected but there is no setback in the science you always ended up getting more opportunities and new discoveries because you know most of the discoveries that we have in this world at a very earlier stages of life like whatever the discoveries that we have are the failures that ended up becoming a success because they just keep on repeating the experiment they keep on repeating the experiments you know the the simple uh, discovery of bulb took 200 failed experiments that ended up forming a one bulb which is like a 200 experiment so you can imagine how much effort that has been put but every failed experiment can lead you up to something that okay this is something i'm not supposed to do the next time i will do something else so like this you have to do your experimentation and once you do this once this cycle cycle of thinking observing and doing it will help you uncover the patterns and the laws that governs the reality might be you can say the gravity might be the behavior of cells might be how the electricity is coming to your house you can understand the world around you you can understand the universe around you and it evolves continuously because you might ended up at one point but then again from that point also you can go to another direction and you can go to another direction it just keeps on happening so it will lead to the deeper understanding and all the earlier theories are refined and replaced means all the scientists who have given a lot of theories like the newton the einstein theory all the famous scientists so they give an idea and we just keep on studying about those ideas and keep on refining it and right now we have a very modified version of an idea the person who has thought of the uh, mobile phones or thought of the lap laptops they never thought like we can have such good laptops at one point of time we can have such good mobile phones at some point of time but they thought of an idea and we just keep on refining it so it also embraces the uncertainty you don't know what happens in the future you just leave your idea onto the plate you just leave your idea around the world just let it do the experimentation and keep doing it until you do, you got the result that you want and last is how it impacts the humanity humanity is a very important thing which you always have to take care of you have to understand what are the practical benefits in terms of medicine technology and engineering i mean what is the point of doing something it doesn't if it doesn't impact the humanity because everything that we are trying to understand with the human brain so this is our natural instinct that whatever we try to do is with respect to the betterment of the humanity so that is why we try to do it that all three areas can be better and also it will satisfy our need to explore to understand let's say if you are looking at the oceans or if you are looking at the space or whatever need not necessary be these two things it could be anything but you ended up impacting the humanity you ended up answering a lot of questions again your curiosity limited to you it might not answer another person curiosity but once your curiosity is completed na 100% there will be a chances that you are able to answer someone else's curiosity as well and this is how you can understand the whole science its role and how you can apply the science in your day to day life so just look at your surroundings try to find your questions and their answers also i hope this will be helpful to you thank you